Hi, this is Peter from allinclusivecaribbeancruises.net and uh, Pete'sTravel.com. Uh, today, I want to talk with you a little bit about uh, Bahama cruises. Um, you may know or may not know that um, uh, the Bahama, the Bahamian Islands, are really popular when it comes to cruising. And I shouldn't say the islands because not all the islands, if you look are familiar with um, geography, you know that there are many, many islands that make up the, ba the Bahamas, but there are just a handful really that the that cruise lines um, visit. Uh, there is of course the most popular which is Nassau. Um, all the top uh, Caribbean cruise lines visit uh, Nassau, and then um, there are a handful that will visit uh, Freeport, Bahamas. But in addition to those two uh, major islands, sorry, there are uh, smaller islands that are actually owned by uh, the top cruise lines. Um, Royal Caribbean um, owns Coco Key. Uh, uh, Disney um, owns Castaway Key. Uh, so uh, whenever you take a cruise with Royal Caribbean to the Bahamas, most likely you will go to the, the private island. Um, then there is Great Stirrup Key, which is um, owned by Norwegian Cruise Lines, and uh, Half Moon Key, which is shared by Holland America and Carnival. Uh, I believe Holland America is the owner there, um, but uh, Holland America is a part of the Carnival Corporation, so you know, so one, one and the same, really. And then there is uh, the Princess Keys, um, owned of course by. Princess Cruises. So all the, the top um, cruise lines that sail the Caribbean um, visit the Bahamas and uh, have an island of their own. And that, uh, what they, they basically use that island as a beach stop. And when you get there, there's a lot of beach activities. Um, but of course, there are also several things that you can do on, on the island. It is set up in such a way where you will have a great, you will spend maybe most of the day, well, most of the day on that particular island doing several things, whether you want to take um, equipment and go in the water, or you want to do things on the on land itself, but the cruise lines have them set up in such a way that you will have fun. There's, there, some of them are set up in such a way where there are things for, for adults only, and then things for the family. So you will have a blast when you go to any of these islands. But it's fun always to go to the Bahamas. Um, it's always warm, pretty much, and the beaches are great. Uh, of course, some people look forward to going to um, the Atlantis, which is a great resort or world rena renowned. Uh, and um, cruises to the Bahamas are plentiful. You know, you can find a cruise from just about any port um, with uh, with Caribbean cruises. Um, going to the, the Bahamas. Uh, our, our most ports on the northeastern side of the U.S. and then the southern side uh, um, uh, will have cruises that visit the Bahamas. As far northeast as, as New York, you will find a cruise um, going to the Bahamas, seven-day cruise or so. And then as you come down along the coast uh, to Maryland and um, uh, Jacksonville, Port Canaveral, uh, of course, Fort Lauderdale, uh, not so much for Lauderdale, but um, Miami, T Tampa, you'll find the cruisers leaving from these ports heading to the Bahamas. And like I said, most of the top cruise lines have cruises that visit the Bahamas. Um, Carnival, Disney, uh, Holland America, Norwegian, Princess, Royal Caribbean, and others. Uh, but those are the big ones, are the, are the most popular uh, ones uh, that visit the Bahamas. Uh, because there's so many cruises going to the Bahamas, you can generally find a, a decent fear, a decent cruise fear, going to the Bahamas. Um, but the best time to actually go is during the fall, because the fears are always the lowest. It doesn't matter which cruise line you're sailing with. Um, your fears in the fall will always be the best. But if you cannot go during the fall because your young kids were in school and they have to be in school during the fall, then you should be able to find a three-night or four-night, five-night cruise to the Bahamas um, from Miami or Tampa, Miami or, or, or Port Canaveral, uh, Jacksonville, 
uh, and uh, like I said, New York, Maryland. That will not be too expensive. It won't be as expensive as going to uh, the Eastern Caribbean or the Western Caribbean or the Southern Caribbean. So you stand to win <laughs> if you choose a Bahama cruise. There's so many things um, to do in the Bahamas uh, and you will enjoy the trip. I can guarantee you that. We've been to the Bahamas in several cruises. Uh, we have been to some of the private islands. We have not been to Freeport, so that's in the making. <laughs> uh, at some point we will visit Freeport, so I can be able to tell you a little bit about Freeport, but uh, we've been to um, a, co a, couple, a couple of the other islands, um, one of the ones, and so we had a good time, and I believe you will too. So this is Peter from All Inclusive Caribbean Cruises and PeteTravel.com saying, go have fun, and I hope to see you on the high seas. Bye.